guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate with duct tape for school. Um, so this is basically a decorating with duct tape series, um, part one. <laughs> so what I did, or what you're going to be learning how to do today, is make a really pretty, really stylish border um, made out of duct tape um, for like your schedule or pictures or whatever you want to like put in there. Um, so basically... I'll take it out. I put this thing. Okay, there we go. So basically, what it is is it's just this little sheet of paper, and it just has a border along it, and you can like glue your schedule there or glue pictures, um, anything you want to have in the front of your binder. You can have in this little thing, and it slips in, it slips right out. Very easy and. I'm going to be teaching you how to make it. Um, so let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need a binder with like a um, plastic cover, a ruler or a straight edge, paper, um, a cutting mat, exacto knife, or scissors, and one roll of duct tape and roll, one roll of paper tape or like decorating tape or something like that and what paper tape is is it's just like this tape um, it's really thin and it's like paper pretty much <laughs> um, it rips like paper and it look, feels like paper um, so yeah that's pretty much what paper tape is and paper tape comes in so many different designs um, but I only got these two or these three <laughs> can't count today so I got polka dot baroque and like candy cane kind of looking thing but I used baroque on my green binder and now I'm using um see as you can tell I use baroque on my green binder but on my blue binder blue binder I'm going to use polka dot so um and for my green binder I use green duct tape and for my blue binder I'm using blue duct tape so what I went ahead and did is I cut a strip a little more, a little longer than my paper, the paper's length or height, and then um, a strip that is a little more than the paper's um, what length. So you're going to take your, and this is with duct tape, not with paper tape. So you're going to take your strip, and you're just going to cut it in half. Make sure like it is in exactly in half. It must be in perfect halfness. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, so that's why we're using a ruler so that it is straight and awesome. <laughs> so what I do is I usually take the longer piece, which is the length. Um, so now I'm just going to take my paper. And I'm using just regular copy paper, just because it's easy. Um, and I just stick it on there. And then I do that to exactly to the other side. Okay. So, so that's what I did. Um... And with these strips right here, you just, like with the leftover, you just cut them over, cut them over, cut them, cut them off. Um, the only reason why I um, told y'all to cut a piece longer than the paper is so that you um, cover, like, cover every part of the paper. Um, every corner, I should say. So, yeah. And I can't get it off. Okay. And on this one, I did mess up a little bit, and I did go over. So if that happens to you, um, just cut it. Just carefully cut it off without um, cutting the paper. Because cutting the paper will mess up with the measurements, and it'll look crooked and all weird. And, yeah. So... I have this thing with, okay, so, and now you're going to take your, 
other strips and then you're just going to do the exact same thing really simple thing and then just cut off the things the excess um, And a thumbs up if you are ready for school. Um, and I'm probably not going to get much thumbs ups. <laughs> but thumb, thumb up if you're not ready for school. Hopefully I get a lot of thumbs up for that. Because um, I am definitely not ready for school. But might as well just make the best of it. Um, so right now I'm just cutting off the excess of the other side. And I'm just cutting off side here okay and yeah okay so now I have this really nice trimmed paper um and I need okay there we go okay sorry if I was covering the camera I was fixing the camera view okay so I'm taking my paper tape now and oops I totally just ripped that in half and hopefully that does not fit okay I totally like messed up right there so don't do what I just did and rip the paper tape um, paper tape is very 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for it's very, not fragile, but it's very easy to rip, not on purpose, so be careful when you're doing that. Okay, so I'm just trimming, um, I'm actually putting the paper tape like in between the top and the bottom of the duct tape, but you can put the paper tape wherever you want, but I usually just like to trim or like put the paper tape evenly on the in the between the top and the bottom. So that's what I'm doing here. And the paper tape rips off or like comes up easily. Um, so if you like place it on there crooked, it'll just easily come right up. Okay. So There we go. Okay. So if you did what I did and like put extra on the sides, um, just go ahead and cut those off now. Make sure that there aren't any um, extra duct oh, dang. It's okay. Any extra duct tape hanging off or anything. Just make sure it looks clean and Looks like it took you hours. <laughs> so what I like to do is I like to like use my nail and like smooth it on there, just so the duct tape will kind of show through the dots or like the design of paper tape. But I'm not saying that you have to use a designed paper tape. Um, but I'm just saying I like to use a designed paper tape. Um, so yeah. So that's basically how you do it, and I am, this is going to be your finished product, and if you want, you can, like, put your name or your school or, like, I don't know, you can put anything, and as you can tell, they're really easy to make, and it only takes, like, 10 minutes, so, yeah, so hope you like this video, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, so, yeah, so that's the finished product, so, bye guys!